Welcome to the tutorial video for how to configure your Services Hub on-demand assessment for SharePoint. In this video, you'll learn the prerequisites to setting up your assessment, the requirements for the user account used to do the setup, step-by-step -step instructions for completing the setup, and finally, you'll see how to view and analyze the results of the assessment. If you haven't already, you'll need to install the Services Hub on-demand assessment agent on your system. You can watch a short tutorial video at the link displayed here. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up and configure the SharePoint on-demand assessment. To configure your assessment, you'll need a domain user account with the following rights. A farm administrator, a local admin on all SharePoint and SQL servers associated with the SharePoint farm being assessed, and sysadmin rights on all instances that house the SharePoint databases. You will also need to enable PowerShell remoting on all the machines, or you can do that using a GPO policy on all domain controllers. To begin, go into the data collection machine and create a working directory for the SharePoint assessment data. Copy that working directory and open the PowerShell prompt by right-clicking and choosing Run as Administrator. Next, run the first command as add hyphen SharePoint assessment task. Halfway through typing the command, you can click Tab, and if you see the line Autocomplete, you'll know that the agent setup module is loaded successfully. For the next input, press a space, then a dash, and enter in any server name from the SharePoint farm. Press a space, then a dash to bring up the working directory input. Here, input the path to your working directory in double quotes. Finally, enter your administrator account credentials and password, then hit Enter. Now it is safe to close the PowerShell window. Next, go into Task Scheduler and schedule your task for a future date, since we don't want the manual task to conflict with a future scheduled task that is going to run. So, go into Assessments, click on SharePoint Assessment, Properties, Triggers, and edit this trigger to run at a future date, like three or four days from today. For example, if this was created on a Thursday, uh, choose to run the assessment on Tuesday and click OK. Enter your credentials to edit the task, then right-click and choose Run. Now go into your working directory and make sure that things are working fine. After a few minutes, you'll see files generated here. Go into the Data Model folder and make sure that all of your SharePoint servers are being discovered. Next, go into Logs and open up the Discovery Trace to make sure there are no unexpected exceptions. Finally, after three or four hours, you can analyze the results of your SharePoint assessment. Open your OMS workspace, and for your SharePoint assessment, you'll see some recommendations. Clicking on the tile will show you all the recommendations. Clicking one of the recommendations will show you that recommendation, the issue, the suggested action to fix the issue. This also shows the impact of the issue on your environment, the probability of the issue reoccurring, the effort needed to mitigate the risk, and finally, which servers and other objects were affected. This concludes the configuration of your SharePoint on-demand assessment.